hello friends welcome back to tutorials in this tutorial we will learn how we can convert a binary number into an octal number or a hexadecimal number base of octal numbers is 8 and base or radix of hexadecimal numbers is 16 so one digit of an octal number corresponds to 3 bits and one digit of a hexadecimal number corresponds to 4 bits now first we will learn how we can convert a binary number into an octal number so to convert a binary into an octal we will partition the binary number into groups of three bits we will start from the radix point or binary point and proceed to right and left now this is the binary point or radix point so first we will proceed to right now when we proceed to right we will make a group of first three bits then we will make a group of next 3 bits and then we will make a group of next 3 bits and then we will proceed to left of the radix point first we will make the group of these 3 bits then it is the second next group of 3 bits and it is the next group of 3 bits now what we have to do we have to write an octal number corresponding to now look at here what will we do look at this group 011 so it represents a value this binary number 011 represents a value 3 so an octal number equivalent to this value is 3 this group represents a value 2 so an octal number equivalent to this value is 2 this group represents a value 7 so an octal number whose value is 7 is 7 so we have written here an octal number corresponding to each group of binary digits right position of radix point will remain same right now this new number 107 radix point 322 is an octal number which is equivalent to this binary number now next is octal to binary number suppose there is an octal number and we have to convert it into a binary number so what will we do we will change each digit of an octal number into a 3 bit binary number right now see this octal number and we want to convert it into a binary number so this digit is 3 so a 3 bit binary number whose value is 3 is 0 1 1 this digit is 6 so we will replace it by a 3 bit binary number whose value is 6 1 1 0 so this it is 2 binary number of 3 bits whose value is 2 is 0 1 0 when we replace all the digits of octal number in this manner that is by 3 bit binary number then what will we get a binary number equivalent to this octal number now look at here Suppose this is a binary number and we want to convert it into an octal number. So what will we have to do? We will have to start from the radix point and proceed to left and right. And we will have to make groups of 3 bits. So when we proceed to right, this would be the first group. right? Now only one bit is left. So what will we do? We will add here two zeros. To make it a group of three bits now when we proceed to left we will make a group of these three bits now only two bits are left there is a deficiency of one bit so here also we will add a zero right to make it a group of three bits
Now, we will learn how we can convert a binary number into an hexadecimal number. We know that each digit of a hexadecimal number corresponds to 4 bits. So here we will partition the binary number into groups of 4 bits. And then we will write a hexadecimal number equivalent to each group. Now look at this binary number and we want to convert it into a hexadecimal. First we will start from the radix point, right? And proceed to right and left. First we will proceed to right and what will we do? We will make group of 4 bits. So first we will make the group of these 4 bits. Then of these next 4 bits. Then when we proceed to left. First we will make the group of these 4 bits. And then of these next 4 bits. Then of these next 4 bits. Now write a hexadecimal number. Corresponding to each group. Now look at this group. 1, 1, 1, 1. This binary number represents a value 50. Now we have to write a hexadecimal number equivalent to this group. So digit F or number F of hexadecimal number system has value 50. So F would be equivalent to this group. So I have written F corresponding to this group. Now this is a binary number which represents a value 1. So I have written 1 here. This binary number 0, 1, 0, 1. This group of bits or we can say binary number represents a value 5. So I have written 5 here. This represents 0. So I have written 0 here. This represents 1. I have written 1 here. Position of radix point will remain fixed. Right? Now, this hexadecimal number is equivalent to this binary number. Now we will learn how we can convert a hexadecimal number into a binary number. We will replace each digit of hexadecimal number by a 4 bit binary number whose value is equivalent to that hexadecimal digit. Now look at this hexadecimal number and we want to convert it into a binary number. So what will we do? We will replace each digit of this number by its equivalent 4-bit binary number. Here the number f represents a value 50. So 4-bit binary number whose value is 50 is this one, 1111. This is 2, right? So 4 bit binary number whose value is 2 is 0010. So when we will replace all digits of hexadecimal number by their equivalent 4 bit binary number, we will get a binary number equivalent to that hexadecimal number. Suppose we want to convert a hexadecimal number into an octal number. Then what will we do? First we will convert that hexadecimal number into the binary number. And then we will convert that binary number directly into a octal number. Then this octal number will be equivalent to this hexadecimal number. Now look at this example. Here we have converted this hexadecimal number into a binary numbers. Now we want... Suppose we want to convert this hexadecimal number into an octal number. So what will we do? First we will convert it into an binary number. And then we will convert this binary number into an octal number. We know how we can directly convert a binary number into an octal number. We will partition the binary number into, group of, into groups of 3 bits. Starting from the radix point and proceeding to right and left. So here what I have done, I have grouped, I have partitioned this binary number into groups of 3 bits. And then we can write an octal number corresponding to each group. So in this way we can convert an hexadecimal number into an octal number directly. Thank you very much.